Welcome, my friends, to a place where we share inspiration and positivity. Hello, dear viewers. Get ready to expand your horizons as we delve into Tyson Henschel UR416. The Tyson Henschel UR416 is a German armoured personnel carrier, first introduced in 1969 and based on the body of the Mercedes-Benz Unimog light truck. As we enter this new chapter, let's navigate the complexities of development and unravel its multifaceted nature. In 1965, an armored car version was designed based on an Unimog truck chassis. The UR416 was produced in 1969 only for export. The hull is welded steel up to and thick, and the driving position is in front, where there is also that of the vehicle commander. The UR416 was developed as a private venture by Reint Stolmaschinenbau which later became Tyson Maschinenbau and is now Henschel Wittebickgum. The first prototype was completed in 1965 and production started in 1969 and 1030 were built, mostly for the export market. The UR416 series is no longer being marketed and has been replaced by the TM170, also now no longer being marketed. The UR416 has been designed primarily for internal security operations but can also be used for a wide variety of other roles such as command and communications, reconnaissance and field workshop. As we venture forward, let's examine description in detail and gain a deeper appreciation for its significance. The UR416 is essentially the chassis of a Mercedes-Benz Uanamog 416 2.5-ton cross-country vehicle fitted with an armored body. Spare automotive parts are identical to those used in the truck and are therefore available from commercial sources. Eight infantry soldiers can be transported in the back, while the engine is in the middle. There is one medium-sized door on each side but not a rear. The high mobility is enhanced by the suspension of the typical project, high travel time to be affiliated to surface. Generally only light machine guns are fitted as armament, but other weapons can be arranged, for example, water cannons, as well as from um, gun turrets. Versions include media workshop, ambulance, and command vehicle. Optional equipment includes spherical firing ports with vision devices, fire detection and extinguishing system, air conditioning system, heater, run, flat tires, smoke grenade dishuggers, a night vision system passive or active, an obstacle clearing blade front, communication to the public through megaphones, and a 5-ton 5 5,000 capacity winch. There are also two weapons slits on each side. Over 1,000 vehicles were exported to Africa, the Middle East, Latin America and Europe. Often the UR416 is used for patrolling sensitive targets such as airports or employed on internal security duties. It is rarely used for military tasks in a conventional army, such as a standard armoured personnel carrier APC, though not in European armies which require more modern and better armoured vehicles. Overall, it is very similar to the French ACM ATTPK 4.2 PSF. Both are derived from the trucks of military success with a load capacity is used for the metal shell. Both models are of low cost and limited performance, but with a high efficiency and compatibility with the line of trucks logistics, and similar vehicles are often the only alternative for poorly resourced and financed regular armies air forces or paramilitary organizations. Now, let's redirect our focus towards variants and discover its significance in our narrative. Ambulance carries eight sitting, or four sitting and two stretcher patients plus a crew of two. Command and communications may be fitted with additional communications equipment and map boards. Internal security The internal security model can be fitted with an obstacle clearing blade at the front of the hull. The lower half of the blade is made of welded steel with web stiffening, and the upper half consists of a pipe framework with a robust wire grill which gives the driver and commander forward observation. The height of the blade can be adjusted hydraulically from the driver's seat and it can also be removed for transport when it is usually stowed at the rear of the hull. 
The vehicle can be fitted with the same turrets as the reconnaissance model, but one cupola has been specifically developed for the internal security role. This cupola can be rotated through and is infinitely lockable in any required position. At the front of the cupola above each other are two vision blocks with bulletproof glass and ball mounts. The cupola hatch opens to the rear and can be locked at two vision blocks with ball mounts and further ten vision blocks in double rows give improved observation. To the right of the two ball mounts is a flap which is open to hold a Tegas nozzle. Tegas mixture is provided from tanks which hold a maximum of 500 liters. Reconnaissance this could be fitted with many types of weapons turrets. Maintenance repair workshop this has a full range of tools, workbenches, a vice and cutting equipment and an a-frame can be erected at the front of the hull to enable the vehicle to change engines and other components. When a frame is in use, two stabilizers are lowered at the front of the hull. Police the vehicle can be equipped as a police vehicle with e.g. mine sweeping shield, search headlight or more militarily e.g. tire pressure adjustment system, NBC protection facility, night vision devices, additional devices to be modular equipped, and turrets with machine guns or a um, cannon can be used. Let's now zoom in on unlicensed variants and uncover the hidden gems that lie within. In the late years, the UR416 begun to be copied by some countries subjected to arms, embargoes, and guerrilla organizations which were unable to acquire it legally. Get ready for an enlightening exploration as we dig into PLO and understand its role in the broader context. The Palestine Liberation Organization PLO guerrilla factions based in Lebanon assembled at their workshops in the Palestinian refugee camps of West Beirut some eight armored cars which differed little from the original UR416 design. Minor details could be found in the positioning of the headlights, which were bolted to the side of the engine compartment and protected by a box-shaped brush guard, instead of being mounted on top as per in the West German model. They were first displayed publicly at a PLO parade held at Beirut in April 1981, some of them fitted with rooftop AT-3 SAGA or ENTAC anti-tank missile systems though period photos show that they were more often armed with a single Browning Macalibur um, or Browning um, heavy machine guns mounted in the roof. Now, let's shift our attention to Rhodesia. Another country to produce clandestine copies of the UR-416 in the US was Rhodesia. In October 1976, the Rhodesian Army's Special Counterinsurgency Unit, the South Scouts, decided to build two armored vehicles of this type for their cross-border covert raids externals on ZANLA guerrilla bases in neighboring Mozambique. Plans were drawn by the Rhodesian Corps of Engineers drawing office from a commercial brochure and the vehicles were assembled in just three weeks at the army workshops of Incomo Garrison by a team of skilled scouts using South African ISCA and ballistic steel plates. Unlike other Rhodesian armoured vehicles, however, they were not protected against landmines. Nicknamed the Pig, the first vehicle was an exact copy of the original design having an all-welded body with a fully enclosed troop compartment. The second pig differed slightly, having a raised roof over the driver and commander seats, a rear door and an open top troop compartment at the back, which allowed provision for three FNMAG 58M NATO light machine guns to be installed on pivot mounts mounted on the vehicle's inner side walls. For additional firepower, the vehicles were often armed with twin Browning Mumped 2 medium machine guns rechambered in the British cartridge or British Hispanum um, autocannons taken from decommissioned Rhodesian Air Force de Havilland Vampire single seater fighter jets and mounted on a pintle fitted with a gun shield to protect the gunner. The design of the UR-416 provided the basis which inspired the Hoshans to develop the more advanced and highly successful mine-protected combat vehicle MPCB in 1978-79. Get ready to immerse yourself in the world of Africa as we examine its impact and relevance.
The Rhodesian pigs were successfully tested in combat by a South Scouts flying mini column that raided two ZANLA camps on the Mape area of southern Mozambique in October 1976. Operation Marden and later resumed the same role during the September 1979 raid on the Zanas Mujimo base in Mozambique. Operation Miracle, though their lack of mine protection was found to be a major drawback. Despite this design flaw, the vehicles served well the sellout scouts in their operations and even after the disbandment of the unit in 1980 they remained at the service of the new Zimbabwe National Army ZNA for several more years. A new R416 of the Toggles contingent of the United Nations Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission in Mali MINUSMA was also ambushed and destroyed by the Jamazat Nasser al Islam War Muslimin on 29 May 2016. In this chapter, we'll be unraveling the enigma of Middle East and discovering its transformative power. At least one PLOUR 416 was captured in West Beirut by the Israeli Defense Forces IDF in the wake of the Israeli invasion of Lebanon in June 1982 and it is now in display at the Beit HaOsef Museum, Tel Aviv, Israel. The pro-Israeli Christian Lebanese forces LF militia also managed to salvage the remaining seven vehicles in early 1983 which one of their commander units later employed at the battle for the Sidon Bridgehead in 1985 against the locally based popular Nasserist organization PNO militia. One of these vehicles was captured from the LF by the PNO who quickly pressed it into service, remaining in their hands until the end of the Lebanese Civil War in October 1990. The fate of the remaining six vehicles is unknown, with various sources stating that they were left uncompleted in their West Beirut workshops and were later destroyed in the violent clashes that ravaged the Lebanese capital in the Urs. As we enter this new chapter, let's navigate the complexities of Latin America and unravel its multifaceted nature. 10 UR416 armored cars were acquired from West Germany by the El Salvador government between 1971 and 1975 and were employed by the Salvadoran army in counter-insurgency and internal security duties, including patrol and road convoy escort roles during the Salvadoran Civil War. For additional protection against RPG-2 and RPG-7 anti-tank rounds, some of the vehicles have been fitted with wire mesh screens, which detonate the HEAT warheads of the PG-2 and PG-7 projectiles before they came into contact with the vehicle's armor body. Salvadoran UR-416 armored cars are normally armed with a Browning um, heavy machine gun mounted on the roof, sometimes fitted with a shield to protect the gunner, whilst some vehicles also have in addition a um, machine gun um, and shield mounted on the roof at the rear. At least 6 to 8 UR-416 vehicles have survived the Civil War and remain in service with the Salvadoran Army with a few now being fitted with applique passive armor on their hull sides. As we enter this new phase, let's navigate the complexities of operators and discover its practical applications. Current user countries of the UR416 are 8 in service with the Salvadoran Army 52 in service with the Kenya Army 45 in service with the Frontier Corps in service with the Savvy Special Security Force in service with the Spanish police. In service with the Venezuelan National Guard. In this section, we'll be shedding light on former operators and its impact on our understanding of the subject. In service with the alert police, retired. 7 XPLO vehicles in service with the Lebanese forces, and a single one later in service with the popular Nasserist organization. 8 in service with the Palestine Liberation Organization in Lebanon. Philippine Marine Corps 2 units armed with an Orlikon cannon issued to for testing in southern Philippines. Philippine Constabulary 7 units procured in 1973. Armed with a machine gun and O2 in service with the South Scouts passed on to successor state. YG used by the Gendarmerie General Command, currently all vehicles removed from active service. Moving on to the next segment, we have evaluation only operators. 
one prototype evaluated by the Portuguese army in 1967. Few vehicles were brought and evaluated along with the Fiat in 1976. Have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos? Let me know in the comments.